friend, a little more challenging problem. Not too bad though. We're talking a 3D problem. We've got this crazy cart here. You go to the hardware store and you get you a cart with three wheels on it. I don't know if you have, I don't know if I've seen a three wheel one. That seems a little unstable, but this is what this one has, okay? It says find the force acting on each one of the wheels, okay? A, B, and C. And so again, wheels on the ground, so what does the ground do to the wheels? Okay, so you wind up with this. And I'm just going to draw it all the way up to this point, like above the wheels here, okay? We'll call this a B, Z, right? This is the Z direction, let's say. And then this guy uh, has got like a, um, right there is where C, Z would be pushing. And then right here at this point, whoop is where, what's that guy called? AZ is, right? So I've got, I've got three reactions, A, B, and C, and then I have these three loads on this cart, right? And I, I'm asked to find what are the reactions at A, B, and C, okay? Now you'll notice something's missing here. Something is missing. What's missing? I'll tell you what's missing. Hmm. You know what's missing? A coordinate system that's what's missing okay so the coordinate system is not here so what does that mean that means we can pick our own doesn't it let's be clever and pick up we want the axis to go through as many of the unknowns as we can so that we take a moment around that axis boom we knock out a whole bunch of our unknowns right so I think that a brilliant plan would be make right here okay I think we make this our x-axis, okay, here's x, this is y, and then this will be z, okay? I think it's a genius plan, okay? Now, what equations can we write from this? We have six in 3D. We have the moments, uh, uh, I mean, sorry, the forces in the x, the forces in the y, the forces in the z, and the moments about the X, a moment about the Y, and a moment about the Z. So we have six equations to write. Now, right off the bat, how many forces in the X do we have? None. How many forces in the uh, Y do we have? None. How many forces in the Z? Okay, everything is in the Z. So here's what we have. Equation number one, okay, which is the sum of the forces in the Z direction, right, is uh, what's going, what's going uh, uphill? Well... AZ plus BZ plus CZ minus the loads, right? And there's 5 plus 3 is 8, and then another 8, that's 1,600 going down. Okay? There's one equation. The next equation, number 2, I think, let's try this. Some of the moments about the x-axis, okay? Things that make me spin around the X. All right. So here's the X axis, right? So immediately, CZ and BZ, bam, to the house. They're knocked out, right? So what do we got? We, so here's our eyeball looking down towards the origin, okay? So the 800 would rotate which way? Clock, I mean, counterclockwise, right? So let's make him positive. So 800. I'm so far away from the X, five inches, okay? The 300 rotates us same way, so plus 300 times how far away? Five plus 10 is 15, okay? And then the 500 up there rotates us the same way, so plus 500 times how far away? 15 plus another 12 is 27, all right? And then a Z over here is going to rotate us mm, the other way. So minus a Z times what? Uh, 15, 27, 35. Okay. So there's an equation with only one unknown in it. So right away, we're going to know a Z. All right. What is a Z? It's going to be on 800 times 5 plus 300 times 5, ooh, 15, sorry, 15, plus 
500 times 27 equals divided by 35 equals. So AZ is 628.57 pounds, okay? So there's one of the three that we're looking for. Okay? How about things that make me spin around the Y? Okay, here's the Y axis. Now on the Y axis, what's happening? Ooh, bad plan. I'm changing my plan. Can I change my plan? Is it okay? I think it's okay. I'm gonna undo this. I'm gonna undo my thought because I just had a better thought, okay? I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna undo this. Not that this one matters too much, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the Y axis here instead, okay? Now why in the world did I just do that? Do you see the trick? Because now when I'm talking about spinning around the Y, now the edge of the cart here is my Y axis. So who gets knocked out? One of my unknowns and that 300. So what does that leave? Well, it leaves AZ, but I already know AZ, plus it leaves CZ, one unknown, okay? So the moment about the Y now, you gotta be clever, right? And you can move it around, that's okay. All right, now we're talking about things that made me spin around the Y. So BZ, gone. The 300, gone. So how about the, uh, here's our eyeball looking towards the origin, okay? The, um, let's see, what do we got here? The 800. Well, let's do this guy, okay? CZ is going to rotate me positive. So CZ times how far away? 24, okay? And then the 800 rotates me, ooh, also positive, right? No, he rotates me negative, doesn't he? That's clockwise. So minus 800 times how far away? 12, okay? And then the 500 rotates me negative, so minus 500 times 24. And then the last one is AZ, which rotates me um, counterclockwise, so that'd be, that would be positive. So plus, AZ is 628.57 times how far away? 12. Okay. Now, just to make it easier on us, just we put in our calculator a little quicker. Let's divide everything in here by 12. So you're divided by 12, you're divided by 12, you're divided by 12, and you're divided by 12, right? Just a little bit simpler. I don't know. So I got 800 minus 628.57 plus 1,000 equals, and then divided by 2. 585.72. So CZ equals 585.72 pounds. Okay. So how do I find the last one, which is like BZ? Now you could do this a couple of ways. I could take my Y axis, I could erase it again, and I could put it over here at the other edge of the cart, and I could write the moment about the Y again. I can't write the moment about the Z, right? What makes you spin around the Z axis in this system? Every force is in the Z direction. And remember, Z can't cause rotation around Z. So there is no moment about the Z equation. This is all we have to work with. But if we just go back up here to the original equation in AZ, we'll plug that in, 628.57. And who else do we find? We found CZ, um, 585.72. Okay. And so move that 1600 to the other side. So 1600 minus 585.72 minus 628.57 leaves you 385.71. So BZ is equal to 385.71 pounds, and that's it. So what's the critical takeaway from this problem? I kind of think it's that you can put your axis anywhere you want and be clever about where you take it because when you write your moment equations, you knock out everything that's on that axis. So that's kind of a... A nice little trick, isn't it? Okay?
All right, I hope we learned a new little trick we can put in our toolbox and get these problems right. See you next video.